Hey, so check it out. Um, right here, right where my uh, motorcycle is in that exact location, I was uh, in my early 20s having sex with my girlfriend in my mom's gold Cadillac in the back seat. And the park ranger knocked on our window and put the flashlight on us, uh, more her than me, and left it there for like five seconds. And I remember how angry I was thinking, what a pervert. Um, and by the time you know we got our clothes on, he was gone. Um, and it's, it's funny when you live and grow up in Los Angeles, every piece of Los Angeles reminds me uh, uh, of a chapter in my life. 20 minutes ago, I was in a coffee shop. Um, I'm about 120 pages deep into my third book and I had this wave of gratitude. And one of the things I was grateful for was to enjoy weather like this in Los Angeles. It's like 80 degrees, perfect breeze, and to be able to um, be on that bike and uh, what I call seek nectar. I'm now lying in the middle of a random park on my, uh, using my helmet as a pillow and um, practicing mindfulness, you know? I'm just taking in the breeze and trying to be very present. Um, I think that, or this is one of the things that I've learned in the last last uh, decade, is that if you build your life on these three things that um, you can find happy. I used to be someone who used to chase really big things and if they didn't happen, then um, I didn't allow myself to be happy. But today, I'm more focused I mean, of course, I you know I want to. I still want the big, the quote unquote big things, and I'm still working and building. But putting, a, I'm also putting a lot of weight on the things that I have today. So part of me feeling grateful um, was being super grateful for uh, not only the weather in California, but um, all the people in my life, um, my ability to um, work out every day, my ability to um, give myself a creative space. Um, uh, not 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 uh, punching a clock like I used to um, my ability to express myself um, all of that and share my story they're such gifts and I am so grateful for them here are three things to hang your life on um, as a reminder one uh, meaning meaning um, hang your life on things that are meaningful to you whatever that is if you don't have a sense of meaning in your life your life can feel very hollow I at one point did not have a sense of meaning and I felt invisible. Today, uh, I have a lot of meaning in my life and that's what gives me fuel and um, it creates substance, you know? Uh, so one is meaning, hang your life on meaning. And then that includes everything, uh, in the work that you do, in your relationships, right? Um, invest in meaningful relationships, all of that. Um, so meaning, number two, engagement you have to engage and that means uh sometimes getting out of your comfort zone you know me sitting here in the park um doing nothing uh, except talking to my phone is a form of engagement i'm trying to engage with um not only you guys but with myself by being present um, and enjoying things like a motorcycle ride or a beautiful day so engaging in the world get out of your house get out of your head um Engaging communities. I just did a workout today um, in an amazing community here in Echo Park uh, at a gym called Pharaohs. All my friends are there, and so uh, that all, all obviously elevates my mood. It shoots dopamine. I get that social exchange. Uh, makes me feel that I'm not alone, right? So engagement, engaging with friends, uh, with family, with people you care about and love. Um, and if you're an introvert, uh, you got to force yourself or structure your, your, your days so there is engagement. And you know, you don't have to um, do something social every day, but sprinkle uh, human engagement into your life, whether it's uh, phone calls or coffee and conversation or uh, fitness or whatever, because uh, we're not meant to do life alone. The third thing is joy, this idea of producing joy. Um, so it's Saturday and today I'm out trying to produce joy and uh, well I'm not trying I am and I think this is an ability I think it's a muscle that we all need to exercise because we're so used to uh, just doing the grind um, dreading things right and we don't take the time to actually produce joy produce nectar from our life and listen you don't have to win the lottery to do this right 
um, you could take whatever you have now, wherever you are now, and you can produce joy from it. And it doesn't matter if you are writing a book, going on a motorcycle ride, or doing a video, um, you can produce joy from your life. Uh, you just have to thread it into your life and do it daily. So, just a reminder, hang your life on meaning, engage with people, and produce joy, aka seek nectar.